This is how a nail stabbing, right there, for me, uh, can affect your hand. The first effect is a no-brainer, pain. And how much pain depends on, well, how far the nail went in, how big is the nail. But mine was this big and it went in about right there. So about a full inch in, almost a full inch. Uh, number two, bleeding. I, that's another no-brainer. So I got lucky in that area. Mine didn't bleed that much. Like right when it stabbed, it didn't just start squirting out like in a movie. No. It waited for about, I don't know, 10 seconds to start bleeding, and then I blotted it, and it was fine. Now we're gonna get into the meat of this, which is the risk of an infection. Mine didn't get infected. I don't believe it did. Yes, I know my hand is green right now. That's not because of an infection. At least I don't think it is. Now here's where my luck ran out. Damage to the structure of the hand. It went through the skin, into the tendon, and definitely hit a nerve. How do I know it hit a nerve? Well, when your entry wound is here, but all of this is hurting, yeah, it's highly likely that it hit the nerve. And another reason that I know it hit my tendon and nerve, well, well, there's nothing else there but tendon, but I know I hit a nerve because it impaired my uh, function of my hand. And I've been using the grips of the extensor trainer to gain that function back. And man, has it returned. It's still not at full strength yet because I can't squeeze this 200 pound hand gripper, but I've got faith that it's going to, uh, you know, go back to normal. But yeah, there you go. That's how a nail injury can affect your hand. Be safe out there, guys. Be safe.